Hello, my name is Penguin. Today we're going to be playing another game of Spirit Island. Uh, this time I think I'm going to be playing... Yep, Lure of the Deep Wilderness. And I'm going to be playing against Russia, I think. Russia, I mean, uh, Lur is probably the best spirit against Russia because of his um, unique uh, or special rule that lets him ignore um, explorers during the ravage step. Let's see here. So for each presence, they can ignore up to two explorers during the ravage step in any ravage actions. And here, ravage cards match lands with three or more explorers on the on Russia 3 so if there's a presence there and there's three uh, explorers they don't actually ravage at all it's like a direct counter which is really nice uh, let's see here let's see we start two in the land number eight and one in land number seven and one beast in land number eight, so number eight, number seven. Okay, so this land has access to these four lands. This has a little access to one, two, three, four, five. Well, this this is this is five, and this is technically six. What do we want our kill zones to be? Maybe we want it like here and here, maybe, or here and here. I guess it depends on the first explorer. Um. See, so yeah, if you don't know what Russia does, they. Their explorers do an extra damage. Um, they're gonna add a lot of explorers to the board. And if you, if they put a, if they ravage and blight in a land with a beast, then that beast is destroyed and added to this, to the uh, adversary card. And if there's more beasts destroyed than there are on the board, then we just lose. So we, let's not let that happen, huh? Let's get the initial explorer, which is wetlands. We could do these two lands as our uh, as our kill zones. Okay. Also, I think we're gonna be playing uh, bottom track later. Or Plaisler, whatever you want to call it. There's like two main ways I see Lur being played. It's either Major uh, Lur, where you go to the top track, or Bottom track is when you go for a lot of plays and minors. Against Russia, I think going bottom is better to deal with all the lands that are going to be attacking at once. Once the, especially when the uh, extra invader cards are going to come in. So, if we're doing the bottom track, let's put one out and probably gain two energy. So we get three energy total and an element. Um, I'm gonna play this for sure. What do we want to add though? This one maybe? Yeah, sounds good. And then we can get a plant symbol or element. So we're gonna probably pull everything in here. We can, we can leave an explorer or two here, but we wanna pull this town here, probably a town here, some beast in. Hmm. Yeah. I'll put this here just so, well, that's fine. Next turn, if we need to grow and reach that, we can just grow here or here. 
So let's pay up. And let's go. Everything's in the slow, so we're going to skip the first event and build in the wetlands. Then we're going to explore sand. I don't think we can deal with this unless we find a good miner for this. Because uh, we can't. Uh, Lur is only. An, can go only uh, exp um, grow into the inland lands. So coastal is like his weak spot. Like a, it's like a reverse ocean. Alright, so how do we want to do this? Okay. Explore, let's do our, our slows. So let's bring pull, let's pull this explorer here. Let's pull these towns in as well. Let's pull this other explorer. We can leave this here because we have two presents there. We can skip up to four explorers in this land. Uh, let's drag in two beasts. I'll also drag in two Dahan just because there's a, there are events that um, that deal with having a presence in Dahan among your lands. So let's do that. Okay, town, yep, you got a two of everything possible, actually. And then here, we're going to have one fear. Add a blight and a beast within one. Not a blight, a badlands. And a beast. Now we have one, two, three, four tokens in here. We can also melt down a town. So let's do that. We're going to use our uh, first innate to melt down a town, which will bring us to fear because there's going to be a town remaining here. So that'll get melted down. We're going to get a fear for melting it down. And then we will do our other innate destroy two explorers per token. And we have eight, uh, four tokens. We can disrupt to eight. So three of these guys are gonna die, and we're gonna get a fear. One of them's gonna get pushed out. Uh, I guess we'll push them here because we already have a present here. And we get another fear. We can also put them here because we have two presents there actually. We can just skip a bunch of them, and we're nowhere. Not, they're not exploring for at least two turns. Okay, that looks good to me. Got the fear there. Yep. Tie passes. On to the next turn. Probably playing both of these, maybe. Let's add another presence, get an animal to um, element, and get a power card. Ooh. Oh. Oh, okay. Hmm. If we really want, we can defend that land. Uh, we can also use Fire in the Sky and put a Strife there. If we put a token here, or a Presence here. Let's see, what do we want to do? This is kind of nice. It has every single element we want. This is def a Defend though. Uh, we can let it blight because 
kind of want them to blight sometimes so that we don't get overrun. Ah, that might be legit. Oh, maybe we don't put it, want to put it. Okay, well, let's actually recon that and put it there. I just realized we're going to put a bunch of stuff here if we keep stacking it. But let's get Lure of the Deep Unknown, or Lure of just the Unknown. It has all of our elements, so we probably want it. Um. Okay. We're proclaiming next turn? Probably not. Probably just playing these two and just start nuking those towns down. Uh, we can play our presence here. This has access to all these. Okay. Pay. Next turn. Or next uh, fast phase. We get two fear from this card. We're doing one damage per token. One, two, three, four. Do five total with the Badlands, but four is all we need. And that land is now clear. Okay. That looks good to me. And on to the event. Uh, when they build, add one explorer to a Jason's land without invaders. Okay. Push up to two explorers or one town from the land with beast. Up to two. We can do this actually. Kind of want to put it there because that's where all our tokens are. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see the next part, which is in each land with a beast, one damage per beast. Wait, what was I looking at before? Oh, I was looking at this one. This is the right one. Okay, never mind. Uh, two fear per land with Dahan and cities, which is, so we get nothing. Cool. The two fear cards. Replace a town with explorer. We didn't want that anyways, probably, actually. So, add a strife in a land with or adjacent to a beast. Unfortunately, there's no beast adjacent to that land. So, let's put it here. Okay, so we're going to Ravage, no Blight was added, so in the land with the most explorers, we're going to add an explorer and a town. So this will have a town and an explorer now. Then the Sands are going to build, so the disease goes away. Oh. Successful build action. Does that mean, let's see, I'm guessing that means um, if a disease blocks it, it's not a successful build. So I'm going to go with that. I mean, they didn't build anything, right? So. <laughs> cool. That means no extra explorers. Um, jungle, we're going to explore, okay, oh, we don't have a moon, I just realized, oh well, advance the video invader cards, and we're going to add a wild to one of our lands.
where do we want to not exp get exploring? Probably don't want to explore here. Um, or we could do it here and just knock them out. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna put the wild there. We're gonna destroy up to two with our innate. So that's pushing this one and get a fear. Also get a fear for destroying that other guy. Now they won't build here. All right, next turn. Time passes. Hello, there we go. We're gonna get another presence out just to prepare for our, our reclaim turn. Uh, ooh. So we're gonna have one energy. If we reclaim next turn, we might have two energy. Which is okay, I think, actually. So let's go, depends on our miner that we grab. If it's a zero cost, then we're gonna have three energy. Kinda like what this, Ooh, oh my gosh. I like all these. Uh, probably one of these two. This one can destroy towns. Which isn't bad. It's probably this though. Are we lacking moons? Actually, one, two, three, four. No, we're not. Okay, that has fire. We have a decent amount of fire. We probably want the plant, though. The plant's really important. Okay, let's just get this. Get hazards. And it's zero cost. So, it's not bad. Although, the other one does have a moon. Which is way better for the current turn. Well, drag this guy in. Next turn is blocked. I think we can work without. Uh, having yeah it's fine we don't need to use our first innate all right let's move on oh let's put a present somewhere just here although maybe you want to spread out just so we can have full coverage in case there's ever like we need to push someone somewhere or uh, unless we want the blight because I'm fine with this blight. Let's put it here. I think we need a sacred site anyways. Oh, I guess we do have one up here. In any case, let's gather this guy here. Now, we can get a beast, a badlands, ooh. Or a wild. I can just start putting wilds into uh, the mountains because I don't want to deal with the coastals at all. <laughs> I'm actually kind of down. Let's do that. Maybe better in the long run to just put beasts on every uh, land and then put balance everywhere afterwards, but I kind of like the idea of not worrying about one coastal land for the rest of the game, basically. If, depending on how many wilds we have put there. Okay, that's our fast. Let's go to the event. Uh, 
Invaders do not ravage unless there are more invaders than the current Terra level. There's more. Uh, yep. Each land with beast, one damage per beast. Okay. There's three beasts here. So I'm probably going to do something like that. Push this guy out. Push this guy out, maybe. I think you can choose to choose this land and then choose that land. Is that a thing you can do? Let's see, can you choose? Let's see. Each land one damage per. Uh. All right. I can actually choose this land, which I just did, and then choose this land and push it back in for what I just quickly found. Oh, and now... Heal from the fear block. You perform the first place when you resolve the card. Not now. Okay, so when we build, we also need to escalate. Cool. In each land, push one the Han per balance to land without. Okay. Let's put it here. And then we're gonna have a fear card. Remove one explorer from a, on a land matching a ravage card. So. I can actually remove this, but the only problem is that it's going to add a explorer and a town here, which is kind of bad. We'll deal with it. So now they're not actually ravaging this because it's not two explorers there, or two invaders there. So we're going to ravage and nothing's going to happen here, and then there's nothing here. And then jungle and mountains are gonna ravage or build. The jungles don't build anything. Uh, this is gonna escalate. So they're gonna put two explorers here, I guess. And then, oh wait, since they ravaged and um, nothing happened, we're gonna add a town and explorer here because it had the most explorers. And then. We need to explore, build in the mountains. All right, suddenly a lot of stuff happening here. Um, <laughs> okay. Don't really have any kill, other kill zones. We will explore again with escalation. Escalation, where do we want it? Probably here. Actually, the first escalation, we might want it here as well. Which is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. And we're gonna explore the sands, right. All right, and now they're gonna ravage a mountain and jungles next turn, but they're pretty clear, which is nice. Just don't look over here. Um, now we can do our other innate. Destroy two per token. We have four tokens, we can destroy eight. One, two, we're gonna push this 
So two, three, four, five, six, seven. Push it here. Seven's gonna give us one fear for the push and two fear for killing more than five explorers. Yep. And that's the end of his turn. We're gonna reclaim now. One energy from a trap, one energy for reclaiming. Ooh, do we wanna get another card? Okay, we need to deal with this. <laughs> uh, how much damage are they doing here? Three, five, seven damage. They have seven life. Let's do six damage here, which we can. That's gonna be a problem. Let's just lure. Huh. We still can't hit our first innate, huh? Maybe we really should have gotten that uh, other thing. So this is going to do 5 plus this will be 7 damage. 2, 4, okay. Oh well. Next turn we'll melt something down for sure. We have so much... Oh wait, we didn't grab a minor... Hmm. Let's get this. Because next turn we don't need the element, so let's go for the energy and the element now, and then we're next turn we'll get a... Although... If we don't do this... We can get a minor for the next two turns... And not run out of cards to play. So we reclaim an extra turn later. Uh, ooh, that's an interesting thought actually. Get a miner. We'll have three energy next turn. Probably use three energy with softly beckons. And then we'll have one energy the turn after. Well, we'll probably get two energy. I am willing to drop the miner. Or take a new miner and then drop the uh, element. Okay. Let's get a new miner. Ooh, defense six. Ooh, add more miners. Uh, defense six, three, five, seven. That'll defend this land if we wanted to. This is really nice for energy. But I'll do this just in case. Okay, so we got this, we did this. Well, we're on to our fast phase. We are going to add a. Originally, I was going to put a balance here. I don't know if we need to, right? One, two, three, four, five. They have seven. Oh no, we do need one. Okay. So now it's one, two, three, four, five, seven damage. So we added the Badlands here. Gonna gather Explorer here. I can put it here. And just make them and ignore their Ravage. Okay. Let's put it here and then ignore the explorer. Oh wait, I can't put it there. Oh my god, this, this is in a land without invaders. Where have I been using it? I used it here. Well, this is only my second time using it, okay. Well, I can just clear the land out first, what am I saying? <laughs> Two fear, do a bunch of damage, two more fear, one, two, and then I can 
gather them in. Okay, there we go. Order, order, okay. Event time. We're in stage two, terror level. Uh-oh. We're outpacing them. Which means, oh no. We replace a Dahan of a town. Um, the Han with the town. Not this is the only where place I want to put it then. The land with the most combined invaders and the Han add one minimum one of each. Oh no, we're losing another Dahan. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this sucks. We just lost two Dahan. What a terrible card. And now we can't do the bottom thing because we lost all our Dahan from the card. Great. What a terrible card. Okay. So, uh, no, we have a fear card. Remove one <laughs> explorer from the land of two or more Dahan. Well, not after what just happened. That definitely does not exist. You can remove a explorer or a town from the land with. Ooh, with. Toad beast with beast. Can we just remove this straight up? That's nice. Uh, all right, cool. Mountain jung mountain and jungles will ravage, and nothing happens, which means I add a town and explore here. What will happen next? Sandwall build. Oh, that was going to be a lost cause. And then we're exploring sand and wetlands already. And in what lands? Oh, this is gonna need to find this. Okay. Suddenly, these lands are bad. Very bad. But we have some fear, I mean, I need to uh, handle. We can do our second name, we can add a Badlands and destroy a bunch of explorers somewhere. So, I kind of want to kill these explorers. Or up there. Hmm. I'd rather have a kill zone here than a kill zone up there though, so I'll add a Badlands here. Destroy one, like push one, get one fear from the innate, one fear for uh, for the push, and that's it. We did the first two levels of that innate, yep, didn't, we were one plant off of the third level, darn. All right, next turn. Now we're gonna have one energy. Actually, just play this. Get two energy instead, because we don't have enough uh, cards to to even do the fourth card play. And then from here on out, I'll probably do up to five. So we'll do that, and we're gonna get a minor power. Defend three mountains or jungle. Unfortunately, it's sand and wetlands <laughs> that we have to deal with. Hmm. Ba ba ba. That. Okay. 
You can spend two energy to do one damage to Explorer. <laughs> That's a lot of energy though. What are we playing this turn? Softly beckons? We could pull the towns in. Okay. Oh, this is building a. S okay, we need to deal with these uh, cities instead, though. So I'm gonna ignore this. This guy's a. Uh, ravage. Can't deal with those cities. So. Can we melt down the city instead? Something like this. In that case, three, two, one. Can't play this. Uh, I guess we'll just take it anyways, though. If we stack some badlands up, it just a lot of damage. Damn, we're one plan away though. But we need to get the city uh, melting. Okay. We're gonna go to the event. I think I did the S Ravage thing last turn. That's why there's a lot of stuff there. Okay. Ooh. Invaders and uh, plus one health this turn. I can discard and just reclaim instead next turn. I'll discard this for two more uh, animal tokens. Or elements and then do the bottom one. You could add a beast. Where do you want that beast? Um maybe here. Although we kinda need to kill these explorers immediately. Oh, we can leave. No, I want to. I want to keep the strife on this guy until we absolutely need him to use it. We remove a disease. Well, who cares? Discard the top minor power if it's slow. Remove a blight. It's slow. Remove a blight. Nice. Veers and the have plus one health. Uh, well, I'm ignoring him anyway, so. On each board with four or more buildings. One, two, three, four. And four if you're Dahan. One, two, three, four. Crap. Add one to a land without Dahan. <laughs> Add one blight. One, two, three, four. Yep, that, that one event that destroyed two Dahan, really? Screw this up again, huh? Uh, where do we want this blight to be? Guess I'll put it here. Hmm. Damn. Well, we're gonna ravage in the sand. That's ignored. Then we're going to build in sand and wetlands. That's going to be a problem there, actually. Actually, there's a lot of problems happening right now. <laughs> Do 
can I manage this uh, crowded wetlands? That's such a small space. Okay. So that built, that built. This didn't build yet, did it? Sand, sand, wetland, wetland. This guy fell over. Explore jungle with escalation. I'll put two here. That's here and here. Okay. Probably gonna get Blight Island next this turn. Um let's pull this in. I wish I could pull this, but I can't. Because we don't have enough stuff here to... That'll be one, two, three more tokens here. That's a lot of stuff. Three tokens. Uh, One of them would be another Badlands, so it'd be... Four tokens, so six damage in that land if we use their card. What do we? Bring them here and still nuke this place. Okay. So one and two. We didn't explore all the mountains. Nope. Um. We didn't pull any explorers, but we can just damage these ones. Okay, I got it. We will. Oof. Two, four, six, eight damage there. I don't think I can stop that yet. I can, however, melt this down. Okay, so we can pull two here from Softly Beckons. And I'll melt this down. Oh. Okay, so the order is going to be before pulling everything with Softly Beckons, I'm going to melt this down. So that we get an extra fear for uh, doing it before, melt, uh, before pulling it with Softly Beckons. I just don't feel I don't feel like putting everything back. Um, so we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna destroy a bunch. Yep. How many can we destroy? One, two, three, four, five. So it's up to ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's gonna be two fear for destroying more than five, and then we're gonna get one more fear for pushing this last guy. Oh boy. Here? I don't want him to build though. I guess here. Oh wait, what am I saying? I put it here, we'll just make them skip their ravage. Okay. So, Softly Beckons was played, and so was my innate. I'm gonna get one fear for perils. We're gonna add a Badlands here. We're gonna add a Beast here. And we're gonna add a Wild here.
pal. That looks pretty good to me. Time passes. Let's reclaim two energy from a trap, one energy for reclaiming. How much damage do we need to do here? Only five, so three. So what we can do is um can't pull them in first though. Dang. Actually, let's pull them in. Okay, we'll, we'll destroy everything and then pull them in. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. That's gonna build two up here. Let's play something with a moon. What's under this? Is this jungle? Okay. I could play this. And then I can get energy and a moon. Don't think defending this is it's smart. Three, five, seven, eight, ten. I mean how many vehicles do we have? We have two. The problem is I really want that uh the moon, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna do two fear. Do four damage, which is actually six. Because the first damage we'll do an extra two here, so that's two. Three more fear. Oh, we have three fear cards. Maybe we should have defended this. But I want to pull this guy in so that they don't. He doesn't build twice, especially in the coast. Sloppy beckons I will use later in the slow. Head on to the event. Next normal ravage becomes a build. Don't want to double build in the wetlands. That's a lot of blight that's gonna be added though. Oh man. Why does it have to be so rough? Um, I still think I want to do the top one. I don't want to double build in the wetlands. Two damage in a blend with buildings at the Han. We have none. Add one blade to a land with at least two buildings. We're going to put it here. Destroy that. Kind of sucks. Uh, invaders have minus one health. Okay. And on half the board, add one uh, uh, disease to a land with. Well, this with, well, this is the only land, so let's put it there. Only land with invaders in the Han. And that the Han dies, of course. We had, have we gotten any added the Han events? I don't think so. We've only lost the Han. That's kind of rare. Okay, we can add a strike to the land worth presence. We get two, one energy per sacred site with invaders. Okay, so that's two more energy. We can add a strife. <laughs> you can strike this. I'll strife here, but I'm still skipping him.
Remove one town from a land with a beast. Disease or at least okay, so that town's gone. Or can remove the uh, explorer themselves. I'm gonna do that. Right? Yeah. Skip the next uh, normal explorer and we're gonna draw an additional explorer card afterwards. Okay. Sand's gonna ravage. This is gonna blight. We're going to blight island. Add one to a land adjacent to. Oh, every turn. Oh my god. Okay. So that's gonna cascade over here. This is a really bad, uh. Well, it's basically just losing a presence every turn, which kind of sucks. Uh, so that ravaged. The wetlands are skipped. The other sand is skipped. We don't hit the, uh. We added a blight on the ravage step, so we don't have to add a town or an explorer. We're gonna build in jungle and wetlands, though. So here and here. How far are we from. Okay, level three. Okay, two more cards. And then we're gonna skip the explorer. What? I didn't just... There we go. Okay, I'll remember it. So, we can play Softly Beckons now. Unfortunately not in this land anymore. We can do it here. Let's bring these two lands. Can I melt? I can. I'll bring this explorer here. I'll bring this beast and these beasts. And then I'm gonna, for fun, I guess I'll grab the Dahan in. Oh, that's too far. I have one Dahan here. So. You can grab an extra explorer, right? Yeah. This one I took from the sand. This one was already. This one is from the sand. This one was already here. So we got two explorers. We got two towns. Town was already here. We got two beasts. We got one Dahan. Okay. We're gonna melt down the city, turn it into three explorers, and gather it in here. We get one fear because there's still buildings left in that land that we melted. And then we can do a bunch of damage. Or kill a bunch of explorers, rather. Uh, that's enough to kill all of them. So one, three, four, five, and push this. Push this back here. So push gives one, and I believe destroying five gives two. Yep. One, two. Okay. That's all good. Time passes. Let's. I guess we just. Get another presence out. Let's put it here. All we need to do is generate fear, because now there's no cities left. Uh, we're gonna gain a miner, see if anything can get f fear wise. Uh, 
This is good one's for you, but this is just really good with us. Bum 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 bum. Oh, we should have reclaimed actually. Okay, so let's reclaim instead. <laughs> We're reclaiming. So we get an energy instead of that presence. So we can do this and get a bunch of fear. What else can we make fear with? This needs to make fear. Spend another energy to play it fast. Or <laughs> just play it fast in here. And that's basically it. Play perils. Also play this. All right. Let's do swallowed by the wilderness. So we we'll have two fear, one damage per token, plus two from the badlands. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, that's enough without the badlands even, or them being the badlands. One, two, three. Terry level 3, there's no more cities, so the game is over. Yep. That was not bad. Although it is kind of cheating playing uh, Lord of the Deep Wilderness against Russia. But it's still, it's still pretty fun. Score is 75, nice. Cool. I will, I'll probably play Lur again against a different adversary, and I think I'll be playing him with the top track. Like, you go two card plays, and then probably the top track until three or, f three or four, maybe, I don't know. I'll play around with it. Uh, but I probably won't do it anytime soon, I kind of want to get through all the other spirits first. I don't know what I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm going to be playing next. We'll see. All right. Let me know if I broke any rules again or at all. Uh, I'm trying to remember if I might have missed a, uh, a pressure for fast profit, the Russia sixth rule. I think every time that we didn't add fear, I, I added the, the um, explorer in the town. But I could be mistaken. I, I could have missed it one turn. I was trying to remember. <laughs> Anyways, see you guys some other time.